What's good, YouTube? Coming to you with another video. This video is a topic video. And I seen this meme, and you, of course, you know you're gonna get it right here. And it said, you mind, your mind will always believe everything you tell it. Feed it with, well, I'm abbreviating, but it say feed it, feed it hope, feed it truth, and feed it love. And now when I seen this, I was like, oh my God, that's true because I swear, Jamal always tell me, it's not about what you say, it's about how you say it. And then he always tell me, like I be speaking a lot of stuff in the universe. And I do. So, I, when I saw this, I was like, dang, that's true. Like, and that's why I've, I've been on this journey trying to do better. Like, and basically your mind will believe whatever you put in it because that's your mind. So I had to think about that. And I was like, man, you literally will tell yourself, you literally will tell yourself um things even you can know something you know what i'm saying like say you know um okay i know i live in a four bedroom house but if i tell myself well one of the rooms really don't count so I'll, i'm gonna just say it's three beds we know it's still a four bedroom house but you can literally might tell your mind whatever you want it to believe to feed yourself what you need. So instead of giving your heart and mind the right thing, like hope, truth, and love, um, you feed it with lies, basically. Um, and I know a lot of people that make a lot of excuses about the things they accept, the things they do, or whatever. Um, why they can't be positive, why they can't grow, why they can't leave situations and stuff like that. And it's just basically because you, you put, you're putting in your mind that you're not good enough. You're putting in your mind that, oh, if you do this, um, something, something worse is going to happen, or you have to do, you have to do things by yourself if you make a move or make a, um, a step in life or whatever. And, and the reality of all that is. At the end of the day, your life is already your life. And nine times out of 10, people that are afraid to do, make major moves, normally stay in that position, normally stay um, not making no moves. And then what you figure out later on is, once you do build your mind up or build yourself up, you realize how much how much time you lost how much things you lost and basically you have to start to and this this is why I go to church because when you sit under the word you literally hear you literally if you sit under a real christian pastor or whatever a real pastor that's going to take tell tell you like it is like how my pastor do and um, your mind changes. And for me personally, I literally had to start telling myself, um, you're not gonna get a divorce. You're not gonna um, talk negative. You're not gonna be aggressive. You're not gonna um, close people out. And for me, oh my gosh, like I will close everything out. People will be trying to befriend me and I'll shut down because I'm so afraid of, I already told myself the outcome of our relationship is going to be um, negative. I already told myself, you're not really my friend or we don't connect or, you know, I already told myself all this stuff. So why? Because I done told myself all of that, then we can't be friends. We can't be connected because I already told myself we're not connected. And basically that stopped me from wanting to connect with you. And then people can feel vibes. Like my vibes are not negative, but I observe a lot before I befriend somebody or connect with someone. And that's just 
me protecting myself. So that's why one of my 2020, I don't, stop it. I don't have no goals in 2020, but one of the things that I do want to do is allow people to be my friend. Allow people to be in my life because I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of good people. And I've been holding on to people that really not my friend or really not genuinely, genuinely don't care about me. So, basically, I'm making this video to tell you, feed yourself what you need, what you want. Um, but most importantly, what you need. Stop feeding yourself things that are not true. You are good enough. You are better. You all you always can grow. You always can let go. You always can be who you want to be. Stop letting people hold you in a box. Like this is this has been your life. Like you're literally going from one side to the other side, one side to the other side. Expand your box. Keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. If you stay in this box, you're going to regret a lot of your life. Imagine if your life, I'm 27, so imagine if my life, I put 27 people in this little box. And I'm always growing. I'm always getting older. So, well, you get older every year. So, imagine if my box was this small and everybody is literally like, I'm trying, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to move. And you're literally don't have no space. That's what's happening in people's life. You don't have no space. You need to grow, grow, expand your box, expand yourself. Tell your mind that my box is not going to be little. I'm going to have a huge box. I'm going to have the biggest box in the world. People literally have picked up wanting to be like everybody else. People started wearing makeup. Girls, I don't remember women wearing makeup five years ago. Like my generation. I don't remember, I don't know why you need lashes. Like, I don't know. I don't know why you need to draw your eyebrows on. I don't know because I don't do it. I like my natural face. I like being natural. I like, I feel like I'm gorgeous. And if you don't feel like you're gorgeous, then you're gonna make alterations. That's why so many women out here all of a sudden need new, new boobs, new butt. Um, why? Why do you need that? If you haven't had this your whole life, why when you get $10,000 all of a sudden, you need it. That don't make sense to me. So, you tell your mind basically how much you value yourself. So if your mind knows that you don't value yourself enough, then you can't feed it. You can't go backwards. If you feed in your mind negativity, you feed in yourself all negativity, and then you try to go back and say, but I hope this go this gonna work out for me. But this is what normally happens. I hope this is I hope I'm gonna get that job. But I know I ain't gonna get it because I seen the other two people in there and so when you go on the interview, you're literally already told yourself that you're not going to get the job. And I do this to myself a lot. And literally every time I go into an interview confident, cocky, and like, yo, this is mine, I get the job. You know what I'm saying? And this is the true facts. Like I literally, people can see fear on you. You know what I'm saying? And I had to learn that. So people will tell you, oh, you're you're being bougie or you're being too cocky. Be that person. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do it in a negative way, but be that cocky person. Be that um person that people feel like, oh, she thinks she all that. I do think I'm all that. What's wrong with that? You should think you all that. And then we all can think we all that. And then you won't be judging me about me thinking I'm all that because you're you're insecure or you you're telling yourself, your mind that you are not, you're not good enough or you're not, um, you're not bomb. So that's your, that's your insecurities. 
I don't have those insecurities. I have grown. Uh-uh, baby. Wait, now. I had to move y'all because Gracie ah. is annoying. But basically, it's okay. And I used to tell them all the time, oh, you're cocky. You're this, you're that. Because people have normalized that with negativity. But why? Why can't I be full of myself? Why can't I be so confident? That's the thing. People want you to be, that's what it is. People. Now he want to talk. Grayson. People want you to be insecure. And that's just what it is. I'm not feeding it to none of that. I'm going to be me. And like, that's just what it's going to be. I'm sorry if y'all can hear Grayson in the background, but more of the story again your mind believe what you feed it so feed your mind what you want feed your mind positive vibes feed your mind cocky stuff feed your mind that you don't deserve to be cheated lied to you don't deserve to be in the same spot at your job you don't deserve to um drive around in the car you gotta pray about you don't deserve to um, change your whole life when you when you get new people in your life. And people do that. Um, you don't deserve to stop going to church because you met a man or you already feel like you got a bomb job and this and that and then you forget about God. You don't deserve to to force yourself to okay. You don't deserve to Tell yourself, oh, this is baby fat. And I'm not I'm not gonna be able to lose it. Baby, I'm gonna be a firm believer and I'm gonna show everybody that you can have kids and lose weight. And discipline, you have to discipline yourself. Be disciplined. Tell your mind that you are disciplined in all areas of your life. And once you do that, you will be disciplined. And that just means that you're going to, if you will fall for any, if you will fall for anything, you'll fall for nothing. If you'll fall for nothing, you'll fall for anything. That's, that's how it go. If you'll fall for nothing, you'll fall for anything. If you fall for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And you have to tell yourself that. But yeah, I hope you guys understand this video. I feel like it was all over the place. But I feel like I got my point across. After 13, 14 minutes, y'all, sh I should have got my own point across. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for more video. I'm just trying to motivate people. I'm just trying to help people. I'm trying to help myself. Um, I'm trying to grow within myself, too. And that's why I do these videos. And that's why I put myself out there. Because at the end of the day, everybody ain't going to agree with what I'm saying. Um, but you can make your own videos. You know what I'm saying? If you got a different opinion, opinion cut on your camera and say your opinion. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I am done with this video. And I'm about to go ahead and edit these videos and go ahead and post them to YouTube. Son, you want the channel? Yeah? Okay, let's see what Grace has to say. What else? Let's see Mm-hmm. I wish I wanted to know. Okay. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted. Tell him, baby. What's it now? Period. I didn't know what I wanted. Point the finger out. High five. Mm. Tell him bye bye. Bye. Uh uh, don't touch it. Just say bye bye. Bye. Say. I can know. Okay, you still got some more stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell everybody bye. Are you supposed to be doing that? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. It's here. Mm -hmm.